I know you guys uh, have been, been emphasizing turnovers for months now, but are you doing anything different now since they haven't really come? You know, we, we really aren't. Um, and, 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 you know, a lot of it stems from the fact that, that you know, we do make such an emphasis on every single play of practice. Um, and and why, why aren't we getting the carryover? Why, why aren't we seeing, you know, in, in the stack three or four guys tripping at the football? I'm not saying it's not happening at all. Why, why is it not happening uh, more? Yeah. And, and, the, and I think uh, some of it might, might, might tie into a little bit of the, the human element when, when the scoreboard's a certain way. You know, the, does that take away impact a win or a loss? And, and the answer is yes. It may not happen yet, but the answer is yes. And so, so much of it, I think, is just continuing with the messaging, um, you know, and, and, and something that, uh, um, you know, in, in practice, if we don't come down with that football, you can't be okay with that. You, what do you, you said after the game that you're in uncharted waters here for yourself, three games without takeaways. I mean, does that go back to Mount Union High School? I mean, how far does that I, I literally can't remember the last time it, it's been that, 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 that uh, drive a stretch. Yeah. You know, is it, uh, um, you know, one thing to, to, to gripe about? I, I, I don't believe it is. I don't think we're circling one thing to, to come up with a negative so we can find a negative. I mm -hmm. think it, it, you know, there, there's several teams that, that, that find themselves with, uh, a, a frustrating Sunday after a Saturday simply because of that, that, that turnover margin. Um, and again, we haven't been there yet, but we, we got to make sure that we learn some, from some of the stories outside this building so we don't have to learn it ourselves. In the stress of trying to get turnovers, do you ever fear that guys will lose their fundamentals? Like in an instance when you need to go for the man, instead you go for the ball trying to get the turnover. Yeah, we're pretty specific. You know, the, the, the whole point being the second guy, second guy in, you know, but where's the third guy? Where's the fourth guy? You know, if you're content with being around the pile, uh, as opposed to being that second guy stripping at it, punching at it, you know, do we do we believe when it, when it, when a play is is made uh, against our defense that that somehow gets our you know, uh, you know across the line of scrimmage? Do we believe that's an opportunity for us to get? Do we truly believe that? That's an opportunity for us to uh, to get the ball out. To suggest they're not always going to be in the backfield, and they're, they're, we're going to we're going to punch it out back there. Is a ten yard throw that's secured? You know, can this, this, the second guy pursue it? Does a screen that breaks on us? You know, that that if you're coming from behind, that that ball carrier hasn't uh, identified you. What a great opportunity to get. The, do we truly believe that? And the answer is no. And so we got to make sure we do it, do a better job as coach. Are you seeing those takeaways in practice though? I mean, is it is that something you're seeing throughout the week before? We are, but but it's the equivalent of being a, a 400 hitter in practice. You, you got to make sure you're doing it when, when it's uh, when it's live and it's real. What kind have of, you seen out of Nick Benito uh, recently, yeah. and just the growth from him over the last uh, few weeks? Well, I, I don't uh, uh, I don't know a guy that probably has grown any more than him uh, in, in our time here from a maturity standpoint. And as maturity came, uh, I, I think um, his performance went up. Um, I think obviously once your performance go up, the, the, the trust that we have in him uh, from a coaching standpoint uh, continued to, to, to grow kind of as when spring went on, maybe tail end of spring, uh, handled his business over the summer, really had a good fall camp. Coach Ruff does a phenomenal job with those guys. Um, and, and I think you're seeing, uh, you're seeing a young guy you know, starting to figure it out um, and, and, and a guy that uh, uh, you know, is only going to get better with, with continued more reps, more game reps, more, more, more preparation over the course of the week. But uh, um, been, been very pleased with him. David Awalda is probably going to have to play more there too, I would guess, right? So yeah, we're excited about him. I mean, and he's a guy that, that we, as, as, it's kind of spotted in there at times, so it's not, not his first work. You know, as you, as you as you get into the the uh, later half of the season type of deal, uh, um, you you you, you kind of go back to those, those reps that, that you know he got early in the season. Um, that, that's a real benefit. You know that, that not every every program has that opportunity to do up to this point. So um, that that's that's been a plus. And uh, um, again, the guy that flashes flashes in practice, and the trust the trust has only gone up. Like a lot of young guys, you know, the, the more they do it right, the more the more you trust them, the more you want to get them on the field. But he has um, uh, tremendous athleticism. Uh, the big, fast guys we like, and uh, uh, David's certainly one of those. I mean, you, you talk a lot about uh, wanting to rotate a lot of guys in. So when you lose a John Michael Terry, I mean, is that something that, that can be really damaging to you guys? Well, I think, I, you know, number one, I, I'm sick for him. I, I, I know that, uh, you know, in, in his time here, he hasn't played – uh, near as much as he was contributing this year, and, and, and a guy that's been as steady as anybody, um, and and just a uh, uh, a real poster child for everything we're trying to do in terms of playing hard, playing fast, doing doing your job, 
uh, playing with maximum effort. I mean, he, he uh, you know, uh, you know had, had all of those elements, and that's how he found himself as a starter. Mm-hmm. And, and, again, I think proof positive when we, we took over here that we didn't care who, who those guys were. We didn't look at, you know, past track records and all those things. So, number one, sick for him because he was making an impact, and obviously sick for us. I mean, there, there's been, you know, a few guys, you know, as you go through it, you, you kind of forget about the guys that have been out for the year that, that otherwise would, would make contributions, and now he's one of them. And so, um, no, it's a great opportunity for other guys, and, um, we would expect them to take advantage of it. Lincoln mentioned Mark Jackson today. We haven't hardly seen him at all this year. He's kind of been a mystery guy. Is is he ready to go? I mean, you... and he's a guy that that will continue to get uh, you know more more reps. And again, going back to the, the trust element of things, and uh, um, has had a pretty good fall. He really has. Um, and so, uh, like a guy that uh, um, could could certainly uh, you know find his way into to a contributing role. When you talk about Aguibu, um he was a guy that. You actually got to help recruit. Was he kind of one of the first guys that you really went after once you got here? Yeah, it's just the, the way the numbers kind of shook out, yeah. and, and and you know his, his interest level in, in uh, Oklahoma at the time was was extremely high. So it wasn't as if it was uh, you know something I did to, to, to bring him on board, but just uh, you know I had a chance to, to go down there, sit with him, evaluate him a little bit, get to know him uh, a, a little bit, and kind of uh, you know does he fit some of the things that we're doing. Um, and then, you know, the obvious answer is, is, is yes, and we, we, we need more more like him. And he's been nothing but a responsible uh, kid since he's been here. And so uh, th- those are the fun ones when they, they, they show up and all they do is put their head down, go to work. And uh, he's ripping some of the benefits of it, and so are we. What, what is Kansas State running with? The new coach and the new offensive coordinator. Well, you, you see a little bit of everything. I mean, the, from uh, uh, the various spread sets to, to you know two back, two tight ends, power football, and, I, and they've had a, a tremendous track record of uh, uh, winning football games and playing winning football on the offensive side of the ball. Um, but but that's that's what you would highlight a, a physical style of play, both regardless of if you have multiple tight ends in the game or two backs in the backfield. It's still a physical style even in their in their spread sets and. Uh, you no, know, it, it it I think it speaks to uh, a group of coaches that you know it's it's not I can't speak for them but probably somewhere in us where it's it's not you take a job and just try some stuff see if it's, they 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 know they know their system they know their system works and they continue to get uh, uh, the 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 benefit of that as uh, as the season has worn on so uh, it, it'll be a major challenge for us and something we haven't seen uh, a lot this year. Are they still leveraging the quarterback run game? I mean, Bill Snyder was great at that, but you know it's a new coach, new staff, and they. Still trying to do that. There is quarterback run elements. Um, you know, there's there's motion elements. There's there's uh, um, you know jet elements um, that, that 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 you know really test your test your eye discipline and the ability to off of that you know run your quarterback and then also uh, you know the play, play downhill football in terms of uh, some of their, their their bigger personnel grouping. So um, the, it uh, you know the the, the challenge is uh, as, as great as it's been for us probably just from the multitude of things that we'll see and we got to prepare for. Are, are you looking forward to see how your defense is going to respond to an offense that's going to line up and run right at you guys? Well, I, I think you need to be. I think it's a challenge. I think uh, as you go through things, it, it uh, that there's a number of different you know ways to move the football. The the the, the trend obviously is more. Uh, more receivers, less tight ends, and, and um, so pr- probably the biggest thing with that is just the um, you know normalizing some of those sets, no- normalizing the, the, those pictures. Not to suggest we haven't seen any of them um, as we've gone through the year, but just the um, the, the the amount of times we'll, we'll, we expect to see it. Uh, on, on, on Saturday, and, and you mentioned it, the, the physical element of things. If, if, if a team's willing to you know, line up and, and play downhill at you, um, you say, okay, we need to match the physicalness. But the answer is, you 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 have to, uh, you got to be on the plus side from a physical standpoint. So they're going to test us that way, and then uh, uh, that will be a real challenge for us. How do you think uh, Jane Davis has handled his expanded role? Got his first start on Saturday. No, I think it's been good, and and and, and a guy, you know, it's a tall order for a freshman, yeah. you know, that that uh, uh, to. Keep Continue to uh, uh, pr- progress as he as he has, but but also you know at, at, at that particular position because the, the next throw is coming your way, and I don't know when the next throw is coming, but it's coming, you know, and and, and so we, we don't uh, we don't do a lot in terms of protecting him, um, but but he's earned the right to, to, to be out there more and more, and so been been pleased with that, and uh, um, would like to see you know a, a, a across the group in terms of the secondary more production when the ball's in the air. We've had some, but we need more. It looks like Overton's been playing pretty well what's he what's he brought to you been, been very pleased with with, uh, with with Q I mean you, you see a guy that that, that flashes at times just from a disruption standpoint plays his tail off for us 
Uh, I think it's a good rotation with him and Nev on, on the interior. It helps. It helps you know uh, us defensively to, to play more guys. We, we've discussed that, but specifically that those those interior defensive alignment spots to continue to mash, mash, mash. To have a guy that can come in with some experience uh, and give you really quality reps, um, and uh, you know been, been been pleased with him because he's also given some effort plays too. So it's not just the you know the big guy in the middle that's eating up blocks. That's not Q, and um, that that that's something that uh, needs to continue. You're from the north. You're from the north, so you've had, I assume, exposure to to wrestlers playing football. Not a big deal in the south, but in the north it usually is. And here in Oklahoma, it has been. Is is his wrestling? background helped him in, on the football field you know what well, I think it's a question for him I mean I think he can he can answer that more specifically but I, I think you know there's 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 a skill set there you know that that uh, in, in terms of you know getting another human on the ground that that uh, especially in the interior of a defensive line because you're, you're making you're not making as many plays in space probably has more impact for those guys in the interior as opposed to a DB or something like that you know closing space is probably just as critical as, as the, the the finishing element of things but uh, um, no I, I'm sure I'm sure in, in certain regards you wig was longer than a lot of the other guys at the the rush rush edge so how much of a i guess versatility how much versatility does that allow you with him uh, i guess in space and even coming off the edge with Russian. I mean, does it does it allow you to do a little bit more stuff? Well, I, I think what it, it, it what, what you find is I think it, it, it gives you a guy off the edge to, to create window issues for a quarterback. I think that's one. I think it all, you know, not just coming off the edge, but also on those opportunities when you drop a guy into coverage, there's a big bigger body in throwing lanes. Um, and, and so that, that that's something that uh, is certainly part of the, you know, the not the, I guess the job description, but more the, the the physical attributes that you're looking for in terms of play like every spot. You want to big him fast, but 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 a guy coming off the edge and get get a hand up, or like you saw on Saturday, a quarterback you know scrambling out um, and make making an effort play that way. And, you know, length helps. You know, and, and length without speed does you very little. You know, and so the the the, the a uh, combination of those two things, you know, uh, that David does possess. Yeah, you've said that uh, X amount of takeaways equal X amount of wins, things like that. I wonder, uh, it sounds like maybe analytics, are you interested in that at all? As far as havoc plays, you know, TFL sacks, passes defended, the lack of takeaways recently, is, is there numbers backing up like this many havoc plays, then this many turnovers you expect, and, and it hasn't come? Like, I was curious your, yeah. your philosophy when it comes to that. Well, you know, one of the first stats I look at is, 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 is TFLs, because I think it has a, has a major impact on, on – you know the 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 outcome of drives. You know the difference between a second eleven and a second and nine. I think is is uh, m- more extreme than one might think. You know, and then there there are st- you know statistics out there. If you can get one negative play on the drive, you know, the chance of scoring offensively somewhere in the twenty percentile. So I mean, it, it, they they have major major impacts. You know, certainly not you you, you wouldn't equate that. You know, nine TFLs this Saturday to to a, a, a TFL or excuse me to a, a takeaway count. Um, and and you know, part of takeaways is momentum. Part of takeaways is obviously the possession itself. Um, you know, but part part of takeaways is the momentum combined with field position. And the message to our guys is when you're not getting takeaways, we're putting a lot of stress on ourselves as defense, and subsequently a lot of stress on ourselves as, as a football program. I mean, they they, you know, it, 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 as much as I like them, um, like I, I like I actually give you insight as I told those guys today. As much as it's not, I, I like them because it's it's cool to get a takeaway. I like it because it impacts winning and losing, and and you know it, it's it's like anything you can. Um, you know, win a baseball game ten to nothing, but 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 you know, pit, pit, okay, well, hitting still matters, pitching still matters. You know, going to game one to nothing, okay, well, hitting still matters. You know, even if you you found found a way to get a win that way, you know, type of thing. So, um, we control uh, um, whether or not we get them, and we believe that to our core, and we haven't gotten it done. What is your philosophy? I'm just curious at this stage of your career on being a head coach. You know, it's something I've always thought about, and I think a lot of the uh, coaches uh, have. Um, I think at, at, at this stage, just thrilled to thrilled to be at Oklahoma, you know. And so uh, to run a defense, to run a room, um, I, 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 to 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 have a title next to your name or the, the seat at the head of the table, that, that does, doesn't uh, really interest me, you know. I think you know anything you want to be, you want to be good at. And so um, I want to be uh, as good of a defensive coordinator as I could possibly be. And you know, obviously roles, roles change over time on the positive side of things and the negative side of things. So uh, be, be the best at your role. And my current role is uh, one I'm very appreciative to have. Lincoln got some advice a couple of years ago about being a head coach from Bob Stoops. And things worked out pretty good for Lincoln. Sure. 
because uh, he was patient. Does that resonate with you? Like, don't you know, run out there and take the first offer or whatever. Well, and, and, and some of those things have taken place in the past and kind of mm-hmm. can be, be balanced some of those things. I, I think there's, there's so much that, that, that goes into, you know, those decisions and those opportunities, what, what's right for your family, what's right for career-wise, all that stuff. And, um, no, it, it, it's something that is, is um, you know, uh, certainly not, nothing that I give too much thought to as you, as you go through a season. You talk about tackles for losses and just the momentum when you're talking about turnovers. How much does sacks, hey, like you have nine sacks against Texas, how much does that equate to, I know it's not a turnover, but momentum-wise, how much sure. does that equate? I well, mean, is well, it, does well, it, does. it begin equal out to kind of a turnover? I, I won't go there. I won't no. go there. You know, I, I think, and obviously the same thing with third down stops. I mean, again, you, you can, you know, if, if you're getting negative plays and you're getting third down stops, certainly I, I think that, you know, to suggest they don't have impact is, is, is you know, also wrong. But, um you know, when, when every every drive has a chance to score until you get off the field, and a takeaway is a, a way to get off. Of, you know, it, it's it's too. You know, if you get two takeaways, it's two more possessions that you're going to give their offense. And you, you you say that out loud, and 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 to think that we haven't gotten that done is is a travesty. You know, for for in terms of our our role uh, in this building is to get the, our, our sole purpose of getting on that field is to give the ball back to the offense. That's defensive football. Um, and, lo- and not to suggest we haven't done that at all, but we haven't done it the the, the way we think it needs to get done to, to ultimately you know have have the goals that we, we want to reach. I know Pat and Delarian are really close. I know you, you said a couple weeks ago how comfortable you are with having them on the field together. Do you think like what have you seen from their relationship maybe off the field, and how can that sort of contribute to their chemistry at the safety 